All men dream, but not equally. Those who dream by night, in the dusty recesses of their minds, wake in the day to find that it was vanity. But the dreamers of the day are dangerous men, for they may act their dream with open eyes to make it possible. This I did. Hands up. Enjoying yourself, pal? Oh, yeah, you're a comedian. Nice warm welcome. They're both clean. My apologies. One can't be too careful. I'm guessing you're Talbot? Mr. Sullivan. And Mr. Drake. That's right. Do you have it? Let's, uh... See the money first. Carter. It's all there. Now let's see it. I'll need to authenticate it. Of course. Silver. 16th century, Elizabethan design, inscribed with Sir Francis Drake's motto. Well, it appears to be genuine. Well, of course it's genuine. If I may ask, how did you two come into this? Does it matter? <laughs> My client will be very pleased. Hold on a minute. Sully, this is fake. I assure you, Mr. Drake. Oh, oh, you are right. This is phony as a $3 bill. What the hell are you trying to pull here? Perhaps I should be asking you. This is bullshit. Deal's off, pal. And you? You can tell your client. You blew it. Come on, Nate, let's get the hell out of here. You're not really in a position to negotiate. Now give me the ring, take the case, and walk out of here like gentlemen. While you still can. Do as the man says, son. You're a thief. Well, now, that's ironic. Oops. Oh, crap. Ah. Oh. Typical bloody yank. All talk. Hey, 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 hey. He's had enough, haven't you, mate? Don't. Stay down. Hello, Victor. Kate? Still wallowing in the gutter with your protege, I see. Not very dignified for a man of your age. Should have known you'd be behind this. Oh, careful now. Wouldn't want you to melt. <laughs> 
same cocky little shit. So fearless. I wonder what you're really afraid of. Not bullets or blood or broken bones. No. You get off on all this, don't you? Cheating death? Or not? No. <sighs> Mr. Sullivan, I won't harm your precious boy. I merely want what's mine. Give me that back. Cut her! Oh no. Oh. Shut, Shut up. up! You fool! Oh, you're bloody welcome, Your Majesty. Marlowe, we have to get you out of here. Oh, come on. They're a right pair of arseholes. What? Te agarré, ratita callejera. Suélteme. Clase de gente no es bienvenida aquí. Let's try that again. Let go of me. Ah, that's what I thought. Now don't try to run. You're a long way from home, son. Don't call me that. Parents must be worried about you. <laughs> yeah, not likely. Okay, sore subject. That was a nice lift back there. You're pretty good. I don't know what you're talking about, old man. Hey, don't call me that. Your technique is really sloppy, though. You're telegraphing all your moves. You're crazy. Yeah? You've been tailing me all over town. Probably figured me for an easy mark. But you picked the wrong guy, pal. Uh, uh. What? My wallet. Fine. Maybe we'll just call the police. Go ahead. Of course, they might wonder why a middle-aged tourist is following young boys down alleyways. <laughs> you are a crafty little beggar, aren't you? I know how to take care of myself. 
Anyway, I'm pretty sure you don't like the cops any more than I do. Good point. Kid. The wallet. Had to try. Of course you did. Telegraphing all my moves, huh? Look who it is. The filthy little stray that made off with your wallet. Come on, son. You haven't got a chance. Just hand it over. Now, the ring. What ring? <laughs> Catherine! Who do you think you are, boy? You're nothing but a filthy, cast off little beggar. You're not fit to touch these objects. What the hell do you think you're doing? He's just a kid. Stop him! <laughs> <laughs> Look what we have here. <laughs> Whoops. You all right? What are you shaking for? Just close your eyes. This won't hurt a bit. Kid. We're safe here. Go on. Suit yourself. You don't want it. What do you want from me? Hmm. A little gratitude would be nice. I did just save your ass back there. Thanks. But what's in it for you? I mean, you're a crook, right? <laughs> you gotta have an angle. <laughs> you are one piece of work, kid. What's your story, anyway? Look, mister, no offense, but I don't even know you. Easily remedied. Victor Sullivan. This would be the part where you introduce yourself. Okay. Suppose you tell me what's so special about that ring. It belongs in my family. I'm just taking it back. Passed down from Francis Drake himself. That's right. I don't know how to break this to you, kid, but Drake didn't have any heirs. No children. Well, 
Not with his wife back in England, anyway. <laughs> okay, good point. Let me see it. Come on, kid. If I was gonna take it from you, I would have done it by now. Thank you. So, what is this? Parvis Mem Sick Parvis Magna. It means greatness from small beginnings. That was his motto. Yeah? You see, Queen Elizabeth gave it to him in 1581, when he got back to England after circumnavigating the globe. That's when she made him a knight. Well, you sure as hell didn't learn that on the streets. How's a kid your age know Latin? The nuns sort of insisted on it. Ah, so like a boarding school. That's a nice word for it. Okay, then. So what was all that business with the ring and that astrolabe thing back there? Why don't you tell me? You're the one working for him. Look, kid. A client wants something, I obtain it. For a price. I don't ask any questions. It's just a job. Look pretty friendly to me. Yeah, uh, well... Anyway. I'm pretty sure I'm fired. Okay, look. First of all, that was no astrolabe. It's some sort of decoding device. Check this out. On his way around the world, Drake sailed through the East Indies. Only he says that it took him six months to get from here to here. Yeah, so? So it doesn't add up. He was way too good a sailor for that. It would have taken him a month. Tops. He was hiding something. Something big. How big? Like secret mission from the Queen big. Like millions in plunder treasure that hasn't ever been recovered big. That big? That big. And that decoder has something to do with it. I would bet my life on it. Oh, swell. And Marlowe's got it. Won't do her much good without the key. So it's a stalemate, then? For now. <laughs> so you still haven't told me what your name is? And you still haven't told me what you want from me. Okay. Look, you got talent, but you got a lot to learn. You stick with me, and I'll teach you a few things. Thanks. But I'm doing just fine on my own. Yeah, clearly. What do you say we uh, try this again? My friends call me Sully. Nathan Drake. Nate. Drake, huh? Okay. I see great things in our future, kid. Great things. They're gone. All right, lads? <laughs> oh, God. I thought you were going to put a silencer on that thing. Sally, you've got no sense of drama. Right. <laughs> All right. All that racket's going to bring the cops any minute. Let's get the hell out of here. <sighs> Could have pulled a couple of those punches, Charlie. What do you mean? I hardly touched you. You headbutted me. All right, all right. I got a little swept up in the moment. Yeah. You were the one who said make it look realistic. Better stay on his good side. All right, Brad Ice, look sharp. They're coming your way. Don't lose them. <sighs> Told you they'd take the bait. How long do you reckon before they realize this is a fake? Who cares? Finally flushed them out. And now we just follow them back to their hole. You do realize you make everything sound dirty. I do? You should be more careful with your head, you know it. Good evening, lads. All right, darling. <sighs> Looks like hell spit you two back out. Ah, uh, it was a thing of beauty, Chloe. I went off without a hitch. You're unusually quiet. What's up your bum? Oh, well, Charlie seemed to enjoy himself a little bit too much for there my taste. Go. 
<laughs> My ears are still ringing. Oh, for God's sake. Helps if you have something in between. <laughs> well, it looks like I missed out on some fun. Yeah, you did, actually. It was very, very uh, cathartic. Yeah, it's funny. Do you have any trouble? No. Nah, easy peasy. And you're sure they didn't see you trailing them? Not a chance. So, which door scary Poppins hiding behind? Behind that one there. The green one. They drove in ages ago, and it's been dark ever since. You think they're still in there? Well, I haven't taken my eyes off it. And no one's gone in or out. Hmm. Think these are really necessary? I mean, it's not like they're expecting us. Don't underestimate these blokes. They're not messing about. Hey, we're just gonna sneak in, and we sneak out. Just like that. Yeah, fair enough. But any trouble, you shoot first and ask questions later, all right? Give me a hand with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Does anybody see a car? Because I don't see a car. I don't understand. <laughs> Damn it. Are you sure this is the right one? Yes, the green door, I'm sure. Nate, we are losing time here. And that damn briefcase is looking better and better. All right, come on. They didn't just vanish into thin air, right? There's got to be an explanation. Just spread out and look around. Sully, aim your beam at the wall. Like headlights. <laughs> For a goddamn cadabra. Um, Nate, just who are we dealing with here? Well, there's only one way to find out. We'll track the car. You head back to the van. We'll try and stay in radio contact. I'll let you know when we get through to the other side, all right? <laughs> Wherever the hell that is. Just be ready for anything. Might be a quick exit. No doubt. She's the best driver in the business, you know. So I've heard. Seriously, who are these people? I'm not interested in your excuses. He was a loose cannon, and you should have known. Yes, it is regrettable, but... Not regrettable. Sloppy. Your poor judgment could have cost us everything. 400 years of searching. Finally. Drake's secret? will be revealed. What is this? I don't understand. It's a forgery. What? That's not possible. I verified it myself. This isn't the ring. Really? I held it in my hands. I saw him put it around his neck. This doesn't make sense. We've been duped. Cutter. Uh-huh. You men stand guard and stay alert. We may have been followed. You, come with us. Find them and bring me that ring. I don't care how you get it. Look at all this stuff. Ugh. Nate, focus. We haven't got much time here. Yeah. Yeah. What are you... My God, do you know what this is? It's a book, mate. There's a lot of them in here. It's a library. Yeah, it's not just any book, wise ass. Belonged to T.E. Lawrence. You know, Lawrence of Arabia. Yes, 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 I know who he is. This was mailed from Dorset on the day of his motorcycle accident. May 13th, 1935. They must have killed him once they got their hands on it. They? Yeah, they, they, them, whoever these people are. Oh, what a lot of rubbish. It was an accident. Witnesses saw a black car run him off the road. Guys. Oh, oh, what? So it was like a big cover-up? Maybe. Nate. What? That thing that you have been waiting 20 years for? Right. <sighs> okay. 
Here we go. L. O. H. D. N. Huh. What is it? Ah, uh, it's... Long Hidden. What? Shush. No shit, Long Hidden. Are you kidding me? No offense, mate, but your ancestor was a right asshole. Would you shut up? It's an anagram. Golden Hind. The Golden Hind. Drake ship. Yes. It's a clue. It's gotta be something hidden in this room. All right, spread out. See what you can find. The guy says, well, you better tickle mine, too, because now i got to catch the goddamn thing. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. To a job? Well done. Yeah. Are you going to join us, darling? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the map proves it. Drake didn't screw around in the East Indies for six months. He sailed straight through and headed to Arabia. Right. But here's where it gets interesting. You see this, Mark? This is John D.'s signature. Who the hell's John D? John D? One of Queen Elizabeth's closest advisors? Everybody knows that. Yeah, yeah, he was a great mathematician and navigator. Okay, way ahead of his time. He's probably the one who invented that. Seriously into the occult. I mean, like a really creepy dog. Yeah, see, way. he signed all his letters to the Queen with this symbol, meaning he was her eyes. The original 007, you see, look, 007. Not really that relevant. So it was John D who sent Drake to Arabia? Yeah, it looks that way. D and Elizabeth. And Walsingham. Great, but what for? Well, that's the million-dollar question, isn't it? And this is where T.E. Lawrence comes in. See, before Lawrence became Lawrence of Arabia... Great film. He was an archaeologist. And even when he was just a kid, he was obsessed with history. Everything to do with knights and the Crusades. And he traveled all over, documenting every Crusader site he could find. It, it's all in here. All right, you've lost me completely, kid. What the hell has this got to do with Drake? I'm getting to that. See, after the war, Lawrence said that if he were ever to go back to Arabia, it would be to search for this place he called the Atlantis of the Sands. Now, the legend crops up over and over again under different names. Ubar, Aram of the Pillars, the City of Brass. But the story is always the same. Well, city of immeasurable wealth, destroyed by God for its arrogance, swallowed forever in the sands of the Rubel-Kali Desert. Right here. <laughs> I like the immeasurable wealth part, anyway. And you think this is what Elizabeth and Dee sent Drake after? Oh, yeah. And more importantly, it's what Marlow is after. So, wait. If Drake was on a mission from the Queen to find this place, why all the secrecy? I mean, it looks like he went to a lot of trouble to hide whatever he found, even from Her Majesty. I don't know. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, what was that? No, hang on a second, because if you recall the last time we went halfway around the world searching for a lost city, things got more than a little dicey. Yeah, but this time we have the upper hand. I mean, look, Drake only had half the clues. Lawrence only had half. We have both. And Marlowe has nothing. Small problem. The Rubel-Kali Desert, 600 miles across. The Bedouin go around the damn thing. And even if we knew where it was, which we don't, we would die trying to find Just it. Just hold on. You see these symbols here? Yeah. Looks like Sabian script. Sabian script. Right. Look, the Crusaders were searching for the same lost city a thousand years ago. But out of all the sites Lawrence documented, only two are marked with these symbols. One in Syria, the other in France. Oh. No, you two are going to Syria. We're heading to France. Look, we track down these clues. We find Lawrence's lost city. I'm sure of it. Well, and then what? How are we going to get across 600 miles of impossible wasteland? Well, it's in the middle of the desert. So technically, it'd be about 300 miles. Wow. <laughs> Look, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We burn that bridge when we get to it, eh? Exactly. What do you say? What the hell? Let's do it. <laughs> Into 
the line, I guess. Don't. <laughs> Looks like we're going the rest of the way on foot. <laughs> what? Leave it to you to find a friggin' jungle in the middle of France. <laughs> well, we're definitely headed in the right direction. Chateau should be this way. Not too far. Come on. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't recommend that. Shit. <laughs> nice work, gentlemen. Harris, please relieve Mr. Drake of the artifact. Yeah, Harris. Come get it. <laughs> now it's hardly worth dying over, is it? Your friend doesn't think so. Come on, Nate. What is that? Oh, my God. What the hell? Stay in the light. Get it. Quickly! Get him off me! Get him off me! God! Your torch seems to be dying out. Good luck with that. God, what a dick. Right? You gotta find a way out of here fast. Stay close. That was close, huh? You all right? Oh, yeah. <coughs> Just swell. Here, Just give me a sec. You always seem to forget. I got 25 years on you. Oh, come on, Sully. You're strong as an ox. Anyway, what's the hurry? They think we're in that. We almost were. I gotta say, I'm losing the plot here. Remind me again why we're doing this? No, 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 no. If you're gearing up for one of your I'm too old for this speeches, spare me. Nate, these guys are playing for keeps. Yeah, so? What, you're just gonna roll over for them now? Nobody's talking about rolling over. Then quit acting like you're ready to lay down and die, all right? Listen, kid. I've had you back for 20 years. I'm not going anywhere, obviously. I just want to make sure we're doing this for the right reasons. You got your pride all tangled up in this thing. It's making you reckless. I taught you better than that. You're gonna get yourself killed. Oh, damn. <laughs> Hell. Probably get us all killed. Oh, no. What? Cutter and Chloe. Sully, if we were followed... Oh, shit. Chances are they were, too. We gotta warn them. Yeah, and get to Syria fast. Sure hope you remember where we left the car, because I am completely turned around. Damn it. Still can't reach either one of them. Something is definitely not right. How long till this place opens? We got a few more hours before the tour buses start showing up. Then we better hustle. Chain's been cut. Okay, so we know we're not the first ones here. Yeah, as long as Marlow and Talbot think we're dead, we got the element of surprise. It's not wasted. Right. So, we sneak in. We find out where they're holding Chloe and Cutter. If they're holding them. Glass half full, Sully. I'm just saying, these guys don't seem like the hostage taken type. Let's just go with best case scenario for now, okay? We rescue Cutter and Chloe, and the four of us just sneak back out. <laughs> right. Sneak back out. It could happen. Mm-hmm. 
What the hell? Why aren't you in France? We're rescuing you? From what? Uh, we thought you were captured. Or worse. Wait, why? Uh, well, uh, Talbot ambushed us at the chateau. It was a trap. Yeah, we figured they must have followed you, too. Well, yeah, they're definitely here. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. So we might want to think about keeping it down a little. Uh, what happened to you two? We've been trying to reach you for over 24 hours. Oh, right, I need to top up my minutes. You're using a prepaid phone? Mate, those contracts are a complete ripoff. <laughs> what? Mine's broken. Again? Look, just forget all that. You'll never guess what we've discovered. I've got it all in here. <laughs> Not only did Elizabeth's spy network stretch all the way over here, but they were all part of some sort of hermetic secret society. The British Occult Secret Service, the School of Night, the Hellfire Club, the Order of the Golden Dawn, they're all connected. So John D And Francis Walsingham and Walter Raleigh and even your mate Drake, they were all in on it. But for them, it was all about the power. Controlling their enemies through espionage, deception, fear. Hey, guys. Wait, 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 wait. So Marlowe and her crew are the same secret order 400 years on. We cut to the goddamn chase, please. Yeah, we really need to keep moving. Sure, sure. Here, look. Quad est superius. Est secret quod est inferius. As above, so below. That's the key to all of this. We need to get to the highest point of this castle. <laughs> Thus, the stairs. Well done. No. Give it to me. Good. Now the journal. Thank you. Don't trust Drake. How's Charlie? Who knows? No, no, no! Shit. He's gone. How in the world? Hey, Charlie, you okay? Huh? Charlie? What the hell? <laughs> Look at this. Man, what kind of Black Ops bullshit is this? Let's just hope he didn't have a big dose. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, shit. Easy now. Look at me. Charlie, right here. Come on, we gotta move now, okay? Just don't touch me. Get away from me. All right, all right. No Come one's on. touching you, Charlie. What the hell was in that dart? Your face is peeling off. Well, whatever it was, he's tripping balls. Charlie, listen. Hey, you're okay. Get Come off! On. I won't let you take me. Hey, nobody's taking you anywhere. Just, just come with us, okay? Yeah. Oh, no. The floor's melting. Charlie! No! Dude, stop! Charlie! Cut her! Charlie! 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 No! Get what back! Are you... Don't! Charlie, you're killing Nate. Okay, you gotta listen to me. You are killing Nate! Charlie! <laughs> Jesus. Here. Here we go. Tim. I'm all right. Here we go. I'm all right. Shoot me, will you, mate? Like a rabid dog. Wow. Let's try this again. I'll go first this time. Oh, shit. Right. 
drop your weapons? Yeah, I don't think so. Well then, what a dilemma. We seem to be equally matched. Until the rest of my men show up, that is. We can wait. Oh no. Guys? Charlie? Oh, God damn it. Well, that changes things a bit, doesn't it? Now drop your guns. Why don't you go cut and shoot him? No. Wait. Just stop. Okay? Now that's better, isn't it? Shoot him. You son of a bitch. Cutter, pull the trigger. My pleasure. Run! can't make it. Okay, what can we do? What can we do? Charlie! What the hell? <laughs> you didn't get very far, did you? Hand it over. Piss off. There's nothing we can do, kid. Jesus, this is unbearable. Oh! Uh. <laughs> Oh, Carter. I had such high hopes for you. <laughs> yeah, right. It's true. You had potential. Now, well, it's funny how things work out, isn't it? You betray my trust, and now we find ourselves here. As if it were in the cards all along. Easy does it, mate. Hang on. Nate, look at this. Oh, what the hell? This way! Okay, we can't stay here. Oh, just leave me the gun. I'll kill those bastards. No way. We're getting you out of here. Come on, get up. I got him. You, got him? you cover us. Okay. Go! Uh... The bus. We're taking the bus. Well, that won't attract any attention. Morning. Not worth the price of admission, folks. Here we go. One, two, and up one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Right here. All right. I got this. You take care of him. Uh, here they come. Sully, get us out of here. Looks like we lost him. All right. I'll find some place to ditch the bus. Great. You doing all right? Oh, fabulous. <laughs> that was too close. You'll be okay. No, I mean the whole thing. It just isn't worth it, Nate. Let this one go. Oh, no, 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 no. You can't just give up. If you let these bastards win, after this, I will never bloody forgive you. Don't you worry, Charlie. There's no way I'm letting them win. What is it with you? What are you trying to prove? I'm not trying to prove anything. So what's the plan, kid? Uh, I guess I'm going to Yemen. You up for it? <laughs> of course I am. All right, we gotta find a quick way in. No hassles. I might know someone we could call. Who? 
Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. You got a better idea, I'm all ears. What about... No. Fine. Make the call. Fisher, foreign correspondent. <laughs> hey, Sully. How you doing, sweetheart? Oh, no. Sorry, that's sort of frowned upon here. Oh, right. You two can hold hands, though. <laughs> How are you, Elena? Good, thanks. You, uh, you look great. So, against my better judgment, these permits will get you through most checkpoints. Okay, great. Oh, and I shouldn't be worried about what's in those bags, right? <laughs> of course not. No. Yeah. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> All right. Remember, you're journalists now. So try and act respectable. Think you can handle that? I think she's talking to you. <laughs> so what exactly are you two reprobates up to? Uh, it's just a little historical research. Right. So that explains the big rush? Exactly. No cursed treasures? Nope. No diabolical warlords? No. You... You're the worst liar. What? You are. Oh, come on. We're not going to start Excuse this, me. are we? Just... The car, where is it? Oh, it's over there. I'll just take the bags and meet you. Nate. You're still wearing it. I, yeah, I am. <laughs> it helps in this part of the world. Oh, really? Seriously? Don't flatter yourself. <laughs> I see you're still wearing yours. What? Oh, oh, yeah. That's what this is all about, isn't it? You don't understand. I finally proved it. Drake lied about his route through the East Indies. 400 years ago, he came here. Why, Nate? That's what we're here to find out. No, I mean, why this obsession? I'm, I'm just worried. I can take care of myself, all right? I'm not talking about you. <laughs> what, Sully? He would go to the ends of the earth for you, Nate. Just don't ask him to. Come on, that's not fair. What is that even supposed to mean? What's that? Yeah. If you could just drop us at the edge of the city, that'd be great. Not a chance. You two are my responsibility now. I'm not taking my eyes off of you. See, down there. Those buildings would have been hundreds of years old, even when Francis Drake was alive. Right. Good thinking. Hey, Nate. Huh? Talbot. Who? He's got Cutter's notebook. What? Wait, what? Charlie Cutter? Yeah, no time. Sully can explain everything. Hey, wait a minute. Meet you down there. Go to hell. Wow. As above, so below. Sully, this is some kind of celestial map. That makes sense. The Arabs used the stars to navigate the desert just like sailors on the ocean. That's right. So you could use these constellations to find the site of the lost city. If I had a sextant, sure. I didn't do all that time in the Navy for nothing, you know. <laughs> Here, I thought you spent the whole time looking for that basket act. The what? Uh, never mind. <laughs> hey, you think you could remember this? Oh, well, yeah, but we ought to copy it down, don't you think? Uh, no, I really don't recommend that. Hey, guys, look at this. <gasps> huh. Well, that's, uh, cheery. Do you hear them? 
Uh-oh. Oh, no. Wait, what is that? Get away from the walls. Hold on to that torch, kid. Oh, oh crap. More than enough of those damn things. Wait, you knew about them? You were planning on telling me, right? Hey. Look at this. Let not the world deceive thee with its beauty. It is the dream of a dreamer, the mirage of the desert. The cup of death will be filled for thee. Lovely. It's all in English. Yeah. Yeah, it must have been Drake. Okay, so, so let me get this straight. Drake sails thousands of miles looking for this Atlantis of the Sands. And when he gets this far, what he finds here is enough to make him turn around, sail home, and hide all evidence of his voyage. Right. But you, you're gonna keep going, aren't you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> and for what? For treasure? Sully, he listens to you. Please make him stop. Yes, Sully, please tackle me. <laughs> What is wrong with you two? Elena, come on, we're just joking around. Listen, you won, okay? You've outsmarted her. You know where to find the city, and Marlo doesn't. Why can't that be enough? Easy, kid. Stay away. Stay away. What's wrong with him? They drugged him. What? Come on, we gotta get him out of here. Come on, stop. Touch me! All right. No. We just, we just want to help. Get away! Get away from me! Welcome back. I don't recommend making a scene. You're not exactly here legally, remember? Greatness from small beginnings. Beneath that cocky exterior, you're still the same scared, filthy little runaway, aren't you? Skip the mind games. You don't know me. In fact, I suspect I know you better than anyone, Mr. Drake. Of course, that's not your real name, is it? But we won't dwell on that. Mother commits suicide. Father surrenders son to the state at the age of five. Entrusted to the St. Francis boys' home. <laughs> it's also Dickensian. <laughs> oh. Don't worry. She's of no interest to us. Unless, of course, we need to apply a little pressure. What do you want from me? Well, as much as it pains me to admit it, I need your help to find Victor Sullivan. Right. We already know he has the coordinates to find Iran. 
How do you know that? <laughs> you told us, Nathan. It seems your loyalty isn't as firm as you'd like to think it is. What about his? What? Wait. What are you trying to pull? Nothing. It's just that... Well, we've had you in our clutches for quite some time now. And he hasn't exactly mounted a rescue. He didn't rescue you back in Cartagena, either. He just saw something he could exploit. I know what you're trying to do. Trust me. Victor is only ever in it for Victor. It's a cold, hard fact. I discovered it 20 years ago. I'm surprised it's taken you this long to figure it out. You're wasting your time, lady. Fair enough. But ask yourself, when he scooped you off the streets of Columbia 20 years ago, did he save you from that life? Or did he just doom you to this one? Ah, excellent. Well, we've located Sullivan on the other side of the city. I'm sorry, Nathan. It seems you've been removed from the equation. يا صباح الفلافل والحمص والبابا غنوج. Remember me? Ramses. You should thank me, my friend. Uh, right. Thanks. No, really. The English lady paid me to get rid of you. But me, I'm a nice guy. I saved your life. Right now, I am the only friend you got. Uh-huh. And now you figure I owe you something. Is that it? Smart guy. I like that. You are a way ahead of me. It is really a simple question. Aram of the pillars. Of course. Where is it? I don't know, buddy. Bullshit. Look, even if I did know, my life wouldn't be worth very much once I told you, now would it? You insult me. You're a pirate. And a good businessman. Give me some respect. Let's try this again. Where is Aram, Nathan? Look, you can torture me all you want. Okay. But I can't tell you what I don't know. Maybe so. We'll see if your friend is more cooperative. What? Who? Your friend, Victor Sullivan. I don't want to do this. At his age, it may be too much for him. Wait. No, no, no. You have given me no choice. Perhaps your friend will be more grateful for his life. Wait. You leave Sully alone. By Nathan. You don't touch him. <laughs> This is going to be fun. Wait. Sully? He's not here. <sighs> Crap. Nathan, you have given me so much trouble. I promise you. We're gonna end it now. You never had him, did you? Of course you're not. I lied. Remember? I'm a pirate. Your life's cool. <laughs> yeah, that's right, buddy. Keep laughing. Usura! <laughs>
of here. All right. All right, yeah. Yeah, I understand. Hey, can you call me if, uh, if anything changes? Oh, my God. I gotta go. Nate! Hey. I thought this was frowned upon. Shut up. I really thought you were gone this time. Are you okay? It's, uh, it's Sully. He's alive. Oh, thank God. But they've got him. What? Where? They're in a convoy headed into the desert. Oh, we gotta go. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No. No, it's not. It's not that simple. Come on. They've got at least two days head start on us, so we'll never catch up. Oh, we, we gotta try. Listen. I've got a plan, but we're only going to get one shot at this. Okay. They're loading up a cargo plane at the airport. They're going to make a supply drop to the convoy. Well, we got to be on that plane. Exactly. You do realize that means parachuting in, right? <laughs> We've done it before. <laughs> Not well. <laughs> Okay, I could really use a glass of water and then we ought to get going. No, 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 no. My contact at the airport says that the plane isn't taking off until dawn. In the meantime, just try to get a couple hours sleep. Uh, I don't think that's a good idea. Come on, all right? He'll call if anything changes. Uh, uh, you're really gonna do all this on your own, huh? For Sully? Yeah. I like the way you think. I know. No, I... I mean, that's... I know what you mean. I'm sorry. I know. this I know but we have to do this quietly if they catch us sneaking onto that plane we're dead all right looks like it's a straight shot from here yeah I'm gonna uh I'm gonna climb to the top then I'll help you over all right keep me covered okay Hey, what are you... what are you two... Helena, listen. Oh, damn it. I knew you would try something like no, this. Don't. Please. Let's be honest. This is a... this is a million to one shot. When I almost lost you before... You're not I, gonna... I just can't do that again. So take that jeep over there and get the hell out of here, all right? While you can. You haven't got much time. Go.
perfect. Here we go. You are far from home, America. Shokran. You do not belong out here. Any of you. You spared me. Why not just kill me along with the others? That would have been... impolite. You are in distress. Even an enemy must be fed and sheltered. Are you my enemy, American? Drake. Hmm? My name. It's... Uh, Drake. Salim. I am Sheikh of this tribe. Well, I, uh, don't mean to be forward, Salim. But I need a horse. I don't have anything to offer in return. You plan to attack the English caravan alone? You know about them. My scouts have been tracking them for two days. Why are you here? Why do the English cross the Rubal Khali? They're looking for the lost city of Ubar. Hiram of the Pillars. They've taken my friend hostage. He's the only one who knows the way. Once they find Aram, he'll be worthless to them. They'll kill him. If they find Aram, we are all dead. Three thousand years ago, King Solomon commanded the power of the Jinn. Demons, born of smokeless fire, until they rebelled. He imprisoned them in a vessel of brass and cast it into the depths of the city. Iran became a place of evil, cursed by the tormented spirits of the Jinn. The English must not reach the city. If they unleash the power of the Jinn... We don't have much time, do we? No. But they have the greater numbers. We cannot attack them in the open. Tonight, rest. Tomorrow, they enter the canyons. We'll take them there. We ride at dawn. This is how the city could thrive all the way out here. The whole place must be fed by an underground spring. It's clean. It's amazing it's still running after all these years. That's a hell of a thing.
Hell of a time. What's the matter with you? How do I know you're real? Ow! That real enough for you? <sighs> Don't ever point a gun at me again. <sighs> I saw them shoot you. Right after the eclipse. What? What eclipse? Look, kid, you went nuts right after you drank from that fountain. It's the water. That's what destroyed the city. Not the wrath of God. The whole water supply is tainted with some sort of hallucinogenic agent. Must have drove everyone mad. That's what Marlow and Talbot are after. Oh, man, yeah. Remember, Cutter said they controlled their enemies through fear. <laughs> this would do it. In spades. But, wait, it doesn't make any sense. How do they think they're getting the water out of here? No, no, it's not the water. It's what's in the water. Come again? All right, listen, just bear with me for a sec. Salim told me that Aram was cursed when Solomon imprisoned the evil spirits of the jinn inside a vessel of brass, and then cast it into the depths of the city. A genie in a bottle. I know, it sounds pretty crazy. So you reckon that's why Elizabeth and Dee sent Francis Drake out here in the first place? Yeah. It wasn't treasure they were after. It was power. Only once Drake realized what he'd been sent for, he abandoned the mission. He lied to the Queen, told her he didn't find anything, and then hid all traces of his voyage. Rewrote history. Well, who are we to argue with Sir Francis? When you say we head down there and end this thing, once and for all. Careful! Lifted gently. You gotta be kidding me. We gotta take that thing out. Any ideas? Well, they sure as hell got us outnumbered. Let's, uh, let's split up. Try to flank them. Yeah, better odds that way. Gotta go! Run! Come on, son! Get up! Come on! Please tell me you didn't swallow any of that water. I don't think so. Okay. Jesus. This is why we can't have nice things. Come on. We gotta move. You! Nice 
Captain! Drake! Are you worthy of the name? Earn this, as Francis earned it from Elizabeth. Prove your greatness! I got nothing to prove. Harry, give me a hand! You can't just let her die! And Harry can't! They give me a goddamn hand! Here! Grab it! What the hell are you doing? I can't! I can't! It's no good! Get the hell out of there! Hold on! wealth, huh? Well. It's not much, is it? It's enough. Yeah. Yeah. Hold up a minute, Nate. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, I just got something needs saying, that's all. All right. What is it? Look, I, um... I had a lousy father. A lousy childhood. I hit 40, I figured I was never gonna have a son of my own. Hell, I never wanted one. What the hell do I know about raising a kid? <laughs> then you came barreling into my life. Look, you don't have to. No, listen. I do. I have made a lot of mistakes, kid. A lot. <laughs> and, uh, well, I am not a perfect man. You're not proposing, are you, Sally? I mean, I love you, uh, but... Stop. Just stop being a wise ass for one second. How long have you been carrying that around? Too long. I thought I'd lost it. Here's the thing, kid. We don't get to choose how we start in this life. Real greatness, it's what you do with the hand you dealt. Hey. Hey. Going somewhere? Maybe. I'm really sorry about your ring. No. It's all right. I swapped it for something better. <laughs> Let's get out of here, huh? Yeah. Come on, we're this way. But... Come on. Trust me. <laughs> what are you, a 
up to. <laughs> no way. Eh, it's not as nice as the one you two wrecked four years ago, but it'll do. <laughs> Come on. Let's see if I can remember how to fly the goddamn thing. Hey, this has parachutes, right? Oh, yeah. Three. Eh, more or less. <laughs> 